on Tyson Gaming here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, spoilers for the last episode, I, um, I lost right away. <laughs> I lost to the first gym trainer of Faulkner's gym. Unfortunately, I started with a Graveler. He had a Lapras with Water Gun, so there's really nothing I could do. Thankfully, we're on the second run, and now we have Shucky the Lantern. Uh, if you guys notice, I'm no longer Professor Elm's lab. That is because I made my way to Professor, uh, not Professor Pokemon, Mr. Pokemon's house, grabbed the egg, so now we're heading back to the lab. Obviously, right now we're going to have the uh, rival battle, and then we're going to be able to get the Pokeballs and officially start the second run of this Nuzlocke. And hopefully I don't get, hopefully I don't lose right away again, because that'd be, that'd be embarrassing as all heck. Because again, when was the last time I actually did lose? It was, yeah, the only other time I lost outside of Radical Red was my Pokemon Leaf Green randomized Nuzlocke, which funny enough, the one I lost there, I also had a Graveler, so I guess the Geodude line is just absolutely cursed for me, which is, you know, fun. But anyways, hopefully today we will be good to go. If you guys are excited for today's episode, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I am trying to hit 1,000 subscribers for the end of 2024, and your subscription will be greatly appreciated. Now with that, all that out of the way, let's head right into the rival battle. I'm actually not too sure what he'll have, because remember the other option was a Seedra and then something else. I don't remember what it was. I can't, actually, I can't remember what, it, what the third option was, because I know I was torn between a Seedra, which would obviously be a future Kingdra, and then the Lantern I have. Okay, it doesn't matter, because he has the Seedra. Actually, wait, are we going to even be able to do anything to each other? I mean, at least I have Thunder Wave. Wait, Leer can fail? Why did Leer fail? That's weird, but I'm pretty sure we... This is battle is going to take a while, because we can't really do much to each other. All we're going to have is Water Gun and uh, Bubble. So, um, I guess I can sit here and just kind of talk about... The series a little bit because obviously since I did go to Professor, not Professor, I keep on calling call him Professor Pokemon but it's Mr. Pokemon. Obviously since I made my way to Mr. Pokemon's house I did see what a, a couple of my potential encounters are going to be and uh, if I get lucky I can potentially get either a Typhlosion or a Ho-Oh in the first few routes which would be you know kind of good. The only problem is especially when it comes to Ho-Oh I'm not sure how le catching legendaries work in this game. I don't know if it's not like in Gen 1 when you actually have to have like a Master Ball or get extremely lucky. I mean, thankfully Shucky already has, um, has Thunder Wave, so I can use Paralysis to hopefully get some encounters. But again, it's all going to depend on how things go. Yeah, this battle is going to take forever because we really can't do much to each other. I need Seedra to hit itself in Confusion. I got a crit though, finally. Please hit yourself in Confusion, Seedra, just one time. Or just get full of Derry too, that's fine. So yeah, hopefully my first few encounters will actually be good, because the encounters I got last time, especially with the Golem, were kind of bad. So even if I leveled them up, there was nothing much I could really do to save that run. But I mean, if I can get a Ho-Oh... I mean, Ho-Oh is good, but the only bad part about it is it is obviously in the early gens, it doesn't, legendaries really don't have, like, a learn set. I mean, they do, but only, like, few legendaries, like Mewtwo, are kind of good from the get-go. I, I think, I'm pretty sure Sacred Fire is one of its early moves, but I'm not sure if it'll have it or not. So, I mean, while I'm hoping to get Ho-Oh as my encounter, at the same time, I really don't want to, because I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch it. You know, obviously I'll, ha I'll have it paralyzed and everything, but I don't know if I'll actually be able to catch it or not. Again, we'll just have to see how, how it goes once we get there. Because obviously first I gotta get out of this stall fest of a battle. I mean, I'll probably also have to look up. Cause I imagine Shocky gets like thunder, Thunderbolt or something eventually. Eventually, or something along those lines. 
Anyway, $300, that's good. Alright, cool. See you later, sprites. So yeah, I can't remember what my other encounters were, because I only mainly saw Typhlosion and ho which I think were the popular encounters of route. Which obviously wouldn't be bad. Again, ho would definitely be a good option, but in terms of actual catchability, I think Typhlosion would probably be better. I mean, it's never bad to go with a starter, plus obviously a lot easier to catch in this generation over uh, Legendary. Though then again... Yeah, I'm not sure how catching legendaries work in this game, because I know vividly I can remember back in Gen 1, you like pretty much had to have a Master Ball, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get it. Unless you like froze it or something, which is like 5% in Gen 1, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not too overly sure. Anyways, let's just make our way through this. Yep, my rival's name is Sprite. In case, you know, in case you guys don't know, he is one of my friends from the UK and is my occasional thumbnail artist. We got the Pokeballs now. Sorry if I'm being quiet during this part. I'm just trying to, you know, button mash my way through all this dialogue. And then we gotta go talk to Mom, and thankfully once we do this, the Nuzlocke will officially begin, because now we have the Pokeballs. No, please don't save my money. I need all the money I can get. Yeah, because especially in this game, money is so important, especially in the early game, it is so scarce. Um, how much money do I... I didn't want Poke Gear, I wanted... Okay, I got 3300, which is enough for a few, for a couple Pokeballs, but obviously I'll need potions too. But either way, let's... Oh, thankfully in this game they give you an optional catching tutorial. Because obviously I already know how to play, how to catch Pokemon, which speaking of which, let's get our first encounter. Hopefully it is a Typhlosion. And it is Typhlosion. Hey buddy, how you doing? Okay, now the question is, I mean, I don't think Bobble will one-shot it. Because obviously I'm a Lantern, I'm only two levels ahead, but that's a fully, fully evolved Pokemon. Ooh, and it already has Ember, which is good. It already has stabbed, and the question is, please do not kill it, Shucky. Please don't kill it, please don't kill it. How much is this gonna- oh, perfect, I can, I can probably hit him with another one. Yeah, getting a starter- a fully evolved starter this early is actually so sick, especially one that can cover my weakness, which obviously, Shucky's weakness is grass. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to there. Alright, so you're in the aisle, you're paralyzed. Hopefully this should be a pretty simple catch. I'm saying that with hope. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is use supersonic to try to confuse it. Just so then it can obviously try to go into the red. Because I don't because I don't think I can hit it with another bubble. Yeah, I doubt I can hit it with, an with another bubble. Please hit yourself confusing, please hit yourself confusing, please hit yourself with Ember, that's fine. I also have to pay attention to Shucky's health as well. And we got the burn, which I don't think does residual damage in this generation. Please, Typhlosion, get into the ball. You'd be such an amazing king capture, because you're so good. Okay, I can't get hit by the burn. 
and he instantly breaks out of confusion. Nice. I gotta use my only potion. Okay, that's doing three per tick. It's doing two per, so I can... How many Pokeballs do I have left? I only have three. I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta just keep chucking. I have to. Like, come on, Typhlosion, please stay in the ball. Okay, two more chances, and I think I, I think Shucky has enough health to make make it through all of them. Come on, Typhlosion, please stay in the ball. You'd be such an amazing capture. Yeah, that's my last chance. That's my last Pokeball. Please, Typhlosion, please. Please stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. Please stay in the... Yes. There we go. First capture, Typhlosion. Um... Name him Peter. If you don't know why, I always name my Cyntaquils Peter because Cyntaquil, Peter Quill, you know, Star Lord. That's the only reason why I always name him that. Obviously, I could probably come up with a better nickname for a Typhlosion, but I mean, hey, I finally got another encounter that's actually super solid. Okay, and the other big thing about this game is I ha there's obviously no indication when the routes change. So I really have to use my knowledge from Pokemon Heart Gold to remember when the routes change. Obviously, I know this route stays the same throughout. However, the routes from Cherry Grove to Violet City, you know, roughly where Pokemon, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pokemon, Mr. Pokemon's house are two routes. So I have to remember that. Plus, there's obviously a route to the north there, but I don't have any Pokeballs. Hello, Krabby. Thank God you were not my encounter. Yeah, because again, I don't have any Pokeballs. So I have to buy as many as I can, but at the same time, I need to buy potions too. You know what, let's get Shucky up to level 7 real quick. Yeah, because I really have forgotten how scarce money is in old Pokemon. Because I know in Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, you can get money pretty easily. I never realized how scarce it is in this game. Because I'm legitimately going to have to buy, I'll, at the very minimum, one potion at least. Okay, 15 Pokeballs, that's actually pretty decent. But obviously now I'm out of money, so if I'm out in the wild and I have to use my potion, I might not have any for the Faulkner Gym battle. Anyways, let's cut, keep on moving upwards and onwards. Get my next encounter here. Maybe this will be Ho-Oh, because I know this is the road that has him. And... No, it's actually Scizor! Oh, that's right. That was the other encounter I could get. Scizor. And you know what? I'm okay with this. Scizor is, a, is an amazing Pokemon. And, right, and getting a Steel-type this early in this generation is actually amazing. Hey, okay, at the very least, I'm getting fully evolved Pokemon. Which is definitely very, very good. And again, yes, especially getting a Steel-type in a generation where pretty much everything is still, you know, Tackle and Scratch. Okay, now the question is, I think I can hit him with one more bubble and he'll go into the red. Shucky, please don't kill him. I mean her. Okay, good. He's in the red. He's in the red. Alright, go Pokeball, please, Scizor to stay in the first ball. 
because you would be an amazing addition to the team. Come on, I really don't want to have to waste more Pokeballs than I, than I need to. Scizor, please. Please stay in the ball. Because yeah, let's see, I have... Before the gym, next gym, I have the next route after this, Dark Cave, Sprout Tower, and then I have Route 45, which is back over by New Bark Town. So I need to really pick and choose. I think I'm going. Scizor is such a it is a pretty decent Pokemon. Obviously, it's not as super viable like he is in a modern day. So I think I'll use two more Pokeballs and then I will give up and move on. Just because again, I need to have Pokeballs for future encounters. How much is Quick Attack gonna do? Okay, that's fine. Alright, Scizor, this is the last Pokeball I'm giving you. Otherwise, then I have to give you up. Please stay in the ball, Scizor. Please stay in the ball. Please. He gave me hope. And then immediately snatched it away. Or do I give a... I'll give it one more. I can I can still make something have one nine. I'll just give it one more. Cause again, it's just what if, what if, what if it worked? What if it worked? What if it worked? I would have hit big if it worked. But I mean, I I can't. As much as I would love to have had Scizor, because Scizor, especially Steel types in general in this generation, are pretty decent. But again, with my non-existent resources, aka my money, I need to really pick and choose my spots. Alright, let's move onwards. Because up next is all the trainer battles, and I don't think... Yeah, nothing early game is really going to be troublesome for, for me, especially not with water and fire unlocked already. Okay, never mind, that might be problematic, but thankfully it's just a wild Pokemon, and I can run away. And fortunately, I'm not going to make it as far as I, as I did in the first episode, because in the first episode, I made it all the way to Falconer's Gym. <clears throat> That's obviously because the encounters I had in the previous episode were a little bit easier to catch outside of the Rapid Ash. I couldn't... Guess. Oh! Hello, Zapdos. Okay, that's not very effective, and I'm pretty sure Shockwave, yeah, Shockwave should be, uh, even if it has, not Shockwave, Thunder, Thunder Shock. Even if you have that, it's going to be neutral on me. And it looks like all you're going to have is Peck, but I mean, this is going to be a good bit of, of XP at least. I just wish I had a better move than Bubble. I think we're going to tie Flosion and have an Ember. But I think, especially with Shucky being my starter, I need him to gain a lot of XP quick here. Now the question is, this is the kid that, this is the first trainer battle that lost from the tra next trainer. What did the next trainer have that even Zapdos couldn't win? Okay, this should be, yeah, that's neutral, that's fine. Ooh, that was a crit. Um, let's, yeah, let's send in Peter. Heck, that's fine. And Ember should be able to take this thing out quite easily from that range. Yeah, Typhlosion is so much stronger than. Yes, yeah, 16 special attack. How much special attack does Typhlosion have at this level? 19. A little bit more, but I mean, it's mainly because I think in this generation, Ember is a little bit stronger than Bubble. 
Like, I really need Water Gun or a half-decent electric move for Shuck to be viable. Yep, because here I go wandering back to the Pokemon Center already. But again, that's because I have no money to buy potions. I only have one. And I really want to save that potion for Faulkner's Gym. But we'll obviously have to wait and see how the rest of it goes. Because I want to get through at least the next few trainers and get my next encounter. Because unfortunately we are at the 20 minute mark. I'll probably skim down a little bit, especially when I was essentially button mashing through all the dialogue. But we'll have to wait and see. So let's see how it all goes. Oh, and now we have a cool fish. Nice. What's cool fish even gonna know at this level? This probably just tackle. Um, yeah, I gotta switch over to Typhlosion. Cause I don't want to sit here and just bubble it all the time. I need to use tackle. Poison Sting, how much is this going to do? Of course you get the poison! I think I'm going to have to use my potion here. Yeah, because unfortunately in this generation, poison does affect the overworld. Yeah, funny enough, it's not until Heart Gold Soul Silver I have to stay in too. It's not until Pokemon and Heart Gold Soul Silver when poison doesn't affect the overworld. Or I should say it does, but it just doesn't kill. Thankfully one ember should be more than enough. Yeah, I have to head back. I just have to Pay attention to the poison. Okay, 16. How much is it doing? Am I at 15 now? Okay, yeah, so I have 15 flashes until... Cool, cool. I mean, I definitely think this run is starting a lot easier, but obviously we're a, sl a little bit slower going because, I mean, Shucky, again, Lantern is a decent Pokemon, especially in the modern day, but I just don't think he's that good in this generation. Typhlosion's obviously decent because I already have Stab and he's a fully evolved Starters. And Starters are generally very good. Oh, hello, Alakazam. That's new. I wish I could have gotten you. Because Psychic is still... Because even with the introduction of Dark po dark type Pokemon in this generation, Psychic is still the most broken typing in this generation. Except for, like, probably, obviously, Dragon because of the resistances, but... Obviously, Psychic just gets so many good Pokemon. Obviously, Alakazam, Mewtwo... Yeah, Psychotypes are still easily the most broken Pokemon in this generation, even with their, well, quote-unquote counters, because obviously Steel-types and Dark-types resist them. Right, this is, a, yeah, this is the new route, because this is, I'm pretty sure this is Route 23. Yeah, because this is when it transitions in Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, so that's what I'm going to base that off of. So this will be my next encounter area, after I pick up this Master Ball. Smoke ball, that's only for that's yeah, that's for running away. Master ball. Ooh, rare candy. Definitely using that on Typhlosion, because unfortunately he is going to be my carry for right now. I like Shucky, but he is definitely not a carry mon. 
I'm just gonna skip those skip those trainers for now. And it's a uh, skip bloom. I'll catch it at least, just so I don't have to deal with hop up, skip bloom, and jump off later. And at least then it'll also be death fodder if I need it. If I kill it, I kill it. If not, I'll try to catch him. Oh well. I mean, obviously, yeah, I killed my next encounter, but I mean, it's a, it's a skip bloom. I was never gonna use it. So I can either go to Dark Cave or go over to Sprout Tower. I think I'm gonna go to Sprout Tower next. Just so obviously I can also train up my Pokemon, get my next negative encounter there. And go on from there. I'm definitely not going to enter the gym today, even though I think I'm probably properly leveled for at least the gym trainers, but... Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with them. Just start up Sprout Tower. There are Pokemon... Yeah, they're okay. I'll say they're like, there are Pokemon in here, because I know this is a dungeon. And it's a... It's a... Okay, it's a Slugma. Slugma, not the worst Pokemon in the world. Okay, does one bubble kill it? Again, if it kills it, it kills it. If it not, I will catch it. I will catch you, Slugma. I mean, I, I guess I can't be... I guess I, especially in this generation, I have to, because there is a higher probability to see another Slugma later versus the modern generations. Like, obviously, if this was Gen 5, I wouldn't really concern myself with it. But obviously, since there's such a smaller pool of Pokemon in this generation, I have to. But I will definitely keep that for Death Fodder or as a backup fire type in case something happens to Typhlosion. Alright, let's head back down, go cure the poisoning, and then we'll head back through Sprout Tower. And I forget how much slower this game is, but I mean, I've already made it to the first gym, essentially again. Yeah, we're definitely in a much better spot than we were last time. Do I want to? I do. I want to go get my next and my dark cave encounter. Actually, no. I can get one to the south of Violet City. I think I'll save dark cave till after the gym. Yeah, because if I go down here. Oh, there's no grass here. There's just, there's, there's, there's grass here in heart, in heart Gold. You must not be able to get an encounter here. Yeah, because that guy over there will stop you until you get the... Until you get Faulkner's Gym, but I guess there's no grass here. That's odd, because, again, there's an encounter area right there. In Heart Gold Soul Silver, so they must have added that then. Alright, Dark Cave I go. I could have sworn he gave me, like, a TM or something. Do you give me a TM? Oh, well. Just gotta keep doing this until I get an encounter, because I don't want to lose the entrance. Come on. 
There it is. Okay, your next encounter is Dugong. Okay. Again, nothing terrible to write home about, but this should be pretty solid. Let's go ahead and Thunder Wave them. The only issue is, I don't think I have a real good way to hit this thing. Okay, question is, does Dugong have... Does it have any sort of water type moves, or is it just going to have Growl and Tackle? Aurora Beam. Oh, it already has an Ice type move. Okay. You know, this thing might actually be pretty. Okay, I think Dugong will be a very good investment then. Because it already has an ice type move, which means it'll be my good counter for a Dragonite if I ever run into one. So we'll go over to Pokeballs and try to catch this thing. All in all, not a terrible encounter then. I mean, Aurora Beam will be useful against. What? Yeah, Dragonite, which is pretty sure still the only Dragon type in this game. Nickname him Ice, because I am creative with my nickname still. Which, by the way, if you guys made it this far into the video and have any sort of nickname suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Because again, I'm not the best when it comes to nicknaming Pokemon. That's because of all the years of me actually playing Pokemon. I've only nicknamed like two, maybe three Pokemon throughout my actual playtime. Obviously, whenever I had a Charizard or something, I named it Striker because that was when I named him when I was a kid, but outside of that, I never really used nicknames, so I'm not overly good at coming up with them yet. So if you guys have any nickname suggestions or want, to be nick or want to be named after a Pokemon, let me know in the comments down below. But with all of that said, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we will be taking on Faulkner once I go through to Sprout Tower and train up the squad, because I mean... All in all, squad's not anything too terrible to write home about, but I mean, we got water, we got fire, and we got technically ice already, so we're doing pretty good. Obviously, I just gotta train them up between now and then, but yeah, we should be looking pretty solid this time around. But with that all said, again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Peace.